Halloween ABCs. A is for apple, so juicy and sweet. B is for bat with wings that flap neat. C is for cat, black and so sly. D is for dragon, soaring through the sky. E is for eyeballs, they're just pretend. F is for Frankenstein, our big green friend. G is for ghost who says boo in the night. H is for haunted house, spooky delight. I is for ice cream, a Halloween treat. J is for jack-o'-lantern, glowing so neat. K is for kooky, so silly for all. L is for leaves that in autumn fall. M is magic we feel in the moonlight. N is for night when the moon shines bright. O is for October, orange leaves fall. P is for pumpkin, the biggest of all. Q is for queen in her costume gown. R is for robot walking through town. S is for spider spinning its thread. T is for trick or treat candy ahead. U is for unicorn dressed up for fun. B is for vampire who doesn't run. W is for witch with her pointy hat. X is for x-ray, imagine that. Y is for yawn, it's been such a night. Z is for zombie, but don't get a fright. Great, let's keep the fun going. Counting, repeat after me. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten, ten spiders on the web. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now let's count backwards. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Spiders are all gone. Now what do we have here? Pumpkins. Let's count the cute pumpkins. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Boo! Peekaboo! One! One silly monster. Two monsters. Count with me. Every time another monster pops up, say the next number. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten silly monsters. Count with me again. This time use a silly voice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, so spooky. See the windows? We are going to count the ghosts as we see them in the windows. But don't worry, these are cute, friendly little characters. You'll see. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. See, 
They're not so spooky, they're fun. Do you wanna see them closer? On the count of three, say boo. Ready? One, two, three, boo. Hello, 10 little ghosts. One cute little ghost holding a cup. What do you think she's drinking in there? Hmm, maybe. Another little holiday ghost. Look at this one listening to music. What's your favorite song? A skateboarding ghost, that's so silly. I think this ghost is enjoying some popcorn. And this one, some candy, yummy. A ghost playing a guitar. And this ghost is playing what? Football, yeah, that's a football ghost. A ghost watering plants, how nice. And ghost number 10 with a little kitty. Hey, do you wanna play a game? It's kind of like hide and seek. Okay, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Here comes our skateboarding ghost. Oh, where did he go? Which number is he behind? Number four, found you little ghost. Another round, let's play again. Who's going to hide this time? A little ghost with the cat. Okay, tell me which number is it behind? Boo, number two. Right, it was behind number two. Play again. Music ghost dancing in. Which number to find the music ghost? Eight, ta-da, number eight, great job. One little, two little, three little ghost, four little, five little, six little ghost, seven little, eight little, nine little ghost, 10 little spooky friends. One little, two little, three little bats, four little, five little, six little bats, seven little, eight little, nine little bats, 10 bats flying through the night. One little, two little, three little black cats, four little, five little, six little black cats, seven little, eight little, nine little black cats, 10 black cats in the dark, dark, dark. Ghost and bats and little black cats all come out for Halloween fun. Trick or treating, spooky greetings, Halloween's begun. Oh yeah, way to go. That was awesome. Halloween story time. The little ghost who couldn't say boo. Once upon a time, in a cozy little town, there was a very friendly ghost named Gus. But Gus had one problem. He couldn't say boo, like all the other ghosts. Every night, Gus would practice, but all that came out was a soft little beep, or sometimes even a meep. Gus wanted to join the other ghost for Halloween night fun, but they said, you have to say boo. So Gus went to visit his friends, Wanda the witch and Benny the bat, to see if they could help. First, Wanda gave Gus a special magic potion to drink. This will give you a big loud boo. But when Gus tried, he said, whoo, like an owl instead. Then Benny the bat swooped down and said, Try flying through the spooky forest. Maybe that will help. Gus tried it, but when he opened his mouth, he said, Moo! Like a cow. Gus felt sad. I guess I'll never say boo, he sighed. But then he noticed something. Everyone was <laughs> laughing and having fun with his silly sound. The other ghost flew over and said, you don't have to say boo. Your moo and who are even more fun. From that day on, Gus became the most popular ghost, making all of his friends giggle <laughs> with his funny sounds. 
and every Halloween, they all wanted to hear what new sound Gus would make next. Pretend you are a ghost and you can't say boo. What sound would you make? That's silly. Let's talk about our story a little bit. What was the ghost name? Gus, the ghost. And he had some ghost friends. Tell me about the characters that Gus went to visit. Do you remember who they were or what their names were? One was Wanda the witch and the other was Benny the bat. Good job. You're doing great. Here's another activity. Hat trick shuffle. We are going to play a game. You have to concentrate. That means focus. There are three hats. This eyeball will be under this middle hat. See it? Now you don't, but it's under which hat? The middle, yes, right here. Keep your eye on this hat as it moves around. Now, where is it? Over here, under this hat. Did you follow it? Let's try again. These hats are all purple. Here comes Itsy Bitsy. Watch where the spider hides. There he goes. Did he go under the hat on the left, the middle, or the right? Did you say left? Yeah. The spider is under that hat. So watch it. Keep your eye on that hat. Don't lose it. Okay, which hat is the spider under now? The middle. Peekaboo, itsy bitsy, we found you. Hello, little pumpkin. Watch it. There it goes, under that third hat to the right. Watch it. This one is tricky. Where is little pumpkin? In the middle. Awesome job. Here comes another learning time fun activity. Halloween songs. Five little pumpkins sitting on a gate. The first one said, oh my, it's getting late. The second one said, there are witches in the air. The third one said, but we don't care. The fourth one said, let's run and run and run. The fifth one said, I'm ready for some fun. Ooh, went the wind and out went the light and the five little pumpkins rolled out of sight. The Itsy Bitsy Spider. The Itsy Bitsy Spider crawled up the haunted house. Down came the bats and chased the spider out. Out came the moon and it shone so bright. And the itsy bitsy spider crawled back for Halloween night. We're gonna sing this one again, and this time I'll show you what to do with your arms and hands as you sing the song with me. Ready? The itsy bitsy spider crawled up the haunted house. Down came the bats and chased the spider out. Out came the moon and it shone so bright. And the itsy bitsy spider crawled back for Halloween night. Three little witches. One little, two little, three little witches fly over haystacks, fly over ditches, fly over moonbeams without any hitches. Hey ho, Halloween night. 
One little, two little, three little witches fly over haystacks, fly over ditches, fly over moonbeams without any hitches. Hey ho, Halloween night. That was really great. Are you ready for more? Spooky sounds match up. To play this game first, let's name each object. Repeat after me. Wolf. Owl. Cat. Bat. Wind. Door. Leaves. Pumpkin. Great. Now I will play the sound of each of these. Do you have your listening ears on? Turn them up. Here we go. This is the sound of a wolf. This is the sound of an owl. Do you know what sound a cat makes? Tell me. Good job. Now listen. That's the cat sound for this game. Here's the sound of bats in a cave. And that's the wind. A door. Walking and crunching in the leaves. And that's the sound of cutting a pumpkin. Okay, five, four, three, two, one, let's go. What is that? A wolf, good. Now which animal do you hear? A cat. Which one is this? Bat. What is this noise? That's the leaves. Good. Listen to this one. Say it. Say it again. An owl. Let me hear you hoot like an owl. Which sound is this? The wind. Do you remember what this noise is? That one might be tricky. It's the sound of cutting a pumpkin. And this noise is... A door. Good job. It's fun to make animal sounds. Make the sound of your favorite animal here. Oh, you're good at that. That was a fun game. And you did a great job using your listening ears. I can tell you did your best. Costume matching. Oh no, look at this. Their costumes are all mixed up. Help match them correctly so they can go trick or treating. Match this one first. Tell me when. Yeah, that looks good. How about this one? Tell me yes or no. Yes, that's right. This is like a puzzle. I bet you are good at putting puzzles together. So now this one goes where? Left, right, or in the middle? In the middle. Here's our next puzzle. Tell me yes and nod your head if it matches. Or tell me no and shake your head no if it does not. No. Yes. Good. Okay, tell me when. Yeah, there's the match. So this puzzle piece goes right here. Which is the match? The green costume? The witch or the cowboy? Yeah, the green one, good job. Have fun, little green guy. 
Whose legs are these? The witch or the cowboy? The cowboy. So let's put these last two pieces together. We did it. We matched all the costume pieces correctly together. Fabulous and fun. I love learning with you. Pumpkin letters. Pumpkin, pumpkin, big and round. Pick a pumpkin, make the sound. T, letter T. T. Trick or treat, T. T. Pumpkin, pumpkin, big and round. Pick a pumpkin, make the sound. L, letter L. O, leaves. L, O. Pumpkin, pumpkin, big and round. Pick a pumpkin, make the sound. S, letter S. S, -s spider. S, S, pumpkin, pumpkin, big and round. Pick a pumpkin, make the sound. A, letter A. A or A. Apples, A, A. Ah, pumpkin, pumpkin, big and round. Pick a pumpkin, make the sound. C, letter C. K, cat, K, K, cat. Pumpkin, pumpkin, big and round. Pick a pumpkin, make the sound. O, letter O, O or aw. October, O, A. Ah. Pumpkin, pumpkin, big and round. Pick a pumpkin, make the sound. B, letter B. B, bat, B, B. Pumpkin, pumpkin, big and round. Pick a pumpkin, make the sound. G. Letter G, G, ghost, G, G. You can play this game. I'll share pumpkin cards with you. Say the poem and then say the letter on the pumpkin that you pick. Oh yeah, that was fun. Here comes another one. Candy sorting. Ooh, look at all the candy. Let's sort it out by color. Look at this piece. Should we put it in the orange bag or the purple bag? Yup, orange, to the orange side. Shout out this color now. Purple. This one, it's purple again. Look in the middle, what color? Orange side. Next up, orange. This one goes over here and this one over here too this one purple again yeah this one is orange next one here orange bag great sorting now count them up one two three four five five pieces of candy and one, two, three, four, five, five pieces of this color too. We sorted five orange pieces of candy and five purple pieces of candy. Now say hello to our little Halloween friends. Hello. Sorting time. Pumpkins up here. Spiders down over in this gray box. Ghost friends up in the purple. And cute little monsters down in the green box. Tell me, where does this go? Yep, over here. How about this one? Green box with its monster friend, good. Ooh, this one? 
up and over with the pumpkins. This one. Yep, keep going down to the gray. This one. Another spider, yeah. Spider with spiders. And where does this go? Hello, ghost friends in the purple box. Tell me where to put this one. Yes, up and over in the orange box with the orange pumpkins. How about this monster? Down in the green box. Now this one. Same, yeah, another monster too. The monster box. This one goes up and over to the purple. What's this? A spider down over here. And this little one with the ghost friends. Great job, you helped me sort them all. Let's play the category game. What are all of these? Pumpkins, yeah, they're pumpkins. And these are spiders, yes. Name this category. They are all ghosts. And the final category of this game is monsters. Friendly, cute little monsters. So now I put four characters here. Which one is not part of this category? The pumpkin. The rest are ghosts. Here's another four. Look at them. Tell me which one does not fit the category. The spider. Three monsters and just one spider. Do these all look the same to you? No. I see three ghosts and then... Yeah, one pumpkin. Here's a challenge for you. This category is ghost, right? They are all ghosts, but can you find something that is different about one of the ghosts? Three of the ghosts have something on their head and one does not. Did you notice that? It's fun to try to find the differences in pictures sometimes. Here are four spiders. The category is spiders. But can you find one that is different? Yeah, that one has eyes that we see in this picture. The other three do not. Hello again, friends. If I say the category is monsters, then which one does not belong? The pumpkin. Another challenge. Let's see if you can find the one that is different. The ghost. The rest are what category? Spiders. The rest are spiders. Now, can you find the one that's a little bit different in the picture? The pumpkin. Great job, friends. I like the category game. You know, you really make learning time fun. Pumpkin carving shapes. Look at all the shapes in these pumpkin faces. Do you like to carve pumpkins? What have you made before? What shape is this? Circle. Say circle. Good job, circle. This shape is a triangle. Say triangle. Triangle, yeah, good job. Do you know this one? This shape is an oval. Repeat it, oval. This long shape is a rectangle. Say it, rectangle. And now, this is a square. Yeah, good job, say it again. Square. You know this one. Yes, it's a star. You're a shining star. Star. What shape is this? It's a heart. Say heart. Good. Okay, you are ready now. Tell me what shape are these pumpkin eyes? Circle. How many circles do you see? One, two, two circles. What shape is the nose? Did you say triangle? 
That's right, it is. There is one triangle nose. Back to the eyes, look at them. Do you remember this shape? Oval. One, two, two ovals. What eye shape now? Rectangles. Name that shape. Look at the pumpkin nose. Circle, yeah, circle. Tell me this nose now. It's not a circle anymore. What is it? Triangle. These two eyes are hearts. You knew that. Good job. Heart shape. And the nose is, do you remember? We just did this one. A little triangle. Look at the eyes. What shape? Triangle. Do you see more triangles? How many triangles does this pumpkin face have? One, two, three. Three triangles in this pumpkin. What shape of eyes? You said circle. Yeah, two circles. Name that shape. Square. And this shape is like a square but longer. So we call this a rectangle. One, you know this one. Tell me. Say it again. Yeah, star. All right, you did it, superstar. Rhyming words, Halloween style. B, at, bat. Emotions, happy, sad, mad, tired, sad, happy, happy, sad, happy, mad, happy, sad, scared, happy, sad, happy, Happy, sad, mad, happy, surprised, mad, silly, happy, mad, happy, happy, scared, happy, sad, mad, scared, sad, sad, Mad. Silly. Show me your silly face. Let's play pretend now. This monster built a big tower and then it fell down. How is he feeling? It looks like he's feeling mad. Has this happened to you before? Remember, you can be mad, but you cannot be mean. 
What can Mad Monster do? Those are some good ideas. He can ask a friend or an adult to help him clean. He can try to build his tower again. Or he could take a breath and ask for a break until he's ready to play again. Pumpkin was playing with his friends and now it's time to go. What is he feeling? Yeah, this pumpkin is feeling sad because he was having so much fun and now he has to leave the playground. Oh, that can be so hard. If you have to stop playing, you might feel sad too. What can you do? You can ask your adult, when can we play again next? You can ask, what are we going to do next? And remember, you can always say what you are feeling and ask your adult for a hug. How's this candy feeling? I see a smile. Happy. What do you think could have made this candy feel so happy? I'm going to pretend candy did its best on a drawing and its friend gave it a compliment. Good job, that would make me happy. How about you? Yeah, it makes me smile when friends tell me something nice. Okay, I'm going to show you a character and you tell me how it looks like it's feeling. Happy, sad, or maybe mad. Sad, happy, sad, mad, happy, happy, sad, sad, mad, happy, sad, mad, happy. You did amazing. Here comes another learning time fun activity. Let's play roll a monster. First we roll and then we count up the dots. One, two, two. So look at the number two. We get to draw the nose. Draw an oval for the nose. There we go, a monster nose. Now roll again. What is this number? One, two, three, four, five. It's a five. Looks like five is the arms. Draw one arm here and one arm there. Arms for our monster. Roll. Oh, a five again. We already did the arms, so roll again. How many dots do you see? One, just one, yes. So now we draw the eyes. I'm going to make one here and one here, but you can draw as many eyes as you want. Roll and count. One, two, three, four, five, six, six. Down here, we draw little monster horns. You can draw one or two, however you want for your little monster. Roll and count. One, two, three, three. That means we draw a mouth. Smile with little teeth. Mouth. Roll and count. One, two, three, four. Four. Legs now. Rectangle and rectangle. Two legs. There we go, we made a cute little monster. You can try this and even try with a different body each time. See how your little monster looks. Here's another dice game. This one is called Roll a Pumpkin. I'll show you how to play this one. You will roll three times for this game. So the first time you roll tells you how to draw the eyes. Here, we will try. We got a three, so we draw triangle eyes. 
Then the second time you roll, will tell you what kind of nodes to draw. And the third time you roll, tells you what kind of mouth to draw. See, you can make a pumpkin too. Are you ready for the next one? Friendly Frankenstein's lab. First, I'll show you how to make fizzy pumpkins. Pour some baking soda and a little bit of water into a bowl. It'll be like a paste. Add some food coloring and mix it up. Roll it into pumpkin balls and put them on a tray. Use vinegar to squirt or pour on them and watch them fizz. Next up, Hidden Colors. You will love this one. It's one of my favorites. Ask an adult to set this one up for you. They will get a muffin pan like this one and secretively add food coloring into each circle. Just one or two drops will do. And then they will pour baking soda over top to hide the color. Then they can give you some of the circles full of vinegar. And then the tool I like to use is this kind of dropper. You can get some vinegar and then squirt it into the baking soda to see the surprise color. Keep going and you can even mix colors to see what you get. Maybe we can even pretend like you're mixing a magic potion. Exploding pumpkin. First, for some extra fun, put some shapes on your bag to make it look like a jack-o'-lantern. Then pour in about three-fourths cup of vinegar. Your adult will help you. Add food coloring. What color will your pumpkin be? And zip it up. Set that aside. And then in a paper towel, add about a half a tablespoon of baking soda and fold up the paper towel. Quickly open the bag and drop the folded paper towel inside and zip it back up. Watch the magic happen. Oh yeah, this one can get messy. It's best probably to do outside. Halloween lava lamps. To begin, you will need about one half cup of water, and of course we are going to color it. You definitely need a dot for this step. They will help with this special ingredient called Alka-Seltzer to break it into pieces. Then get another glass and fill it about three-fourths full of vegetable oil. Next, pour in the colored water until the liquid in the cup is pretty close to the top, but you don't want it to overflow unless you're trying to get super messy again. Here we go. Add the Alka-Seltzer tablet piece into the cup and your lava lamp will begin. Oh yeah, that was fun. Here comes another one. Trick or treat tips. If you go trick or treating, here's some tips you should follow. Stay with your adult. You might be so excited and want to run ahead, but check with your adult first. Make sure they can still see you. Stick together with your adult and your group. Wear something bright. Wear a bright costume or carry a flashlight. You could also carry a glow stick or wear a reflective sticker so you can be seen when it gets dark. Look both ways. Hold hands and look both ways before you cross anywhere. Stop, look left, then right, then left again to make sure no cars are coming. Stay on the sidewalk. Walk on the sidewalk or paths and avoid walking on or in the middle of the street. If there's no sidewalk, walk facing traffic so you can see cars. Use your manners. Trick or treating is fun. Remember to say thank you. Check before eating. Wait until a grown-up checks your candy before eating anything, just to make sure it's safe. Thanks for making learning time fun. See you in my classroom next time.